Um, we have at Orpheus um, a number of research clusters, um, by which we mean a group of research projects which have an overarching set of questions, really. And one of these is called Performance, Subjectivity and Experimentation. And this has been running for about uh, 18 months to two years now and involves a number of researchers who are fellows at the Orpheus Institute and collaborators beyond that. So that's what this is. And um, we set out to tackle this question feeling that there is a bit of a gap, particularly in musical research, um, concerned with questions of subjectivity. We felt that most of the work dealing with subjectivity in musicology is focused around composers and works and uh, composing identities and how, how those are manifested in, um, again, in works or of, of art. That there has recently been a lot of focus on listening, on listening as an active subjective experience um, of the ways in which pieces of music afford us certain kind of musical subjectivities that we can put ourselves into a work when we listen to a piece of music. There's a lot of very interesting work in that, in that field. Um, with, when it comes to performance, and you might argue with me on this, and I'd be very interested to hear counterexamples, when we started this project, we felt very strongly that there was some very interesting work on subjectivity in musical performance, but that it was very patchy, somewhat atomized, and mostly musicological, so mostly looking at performance. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, a lot of the work we'll hear in the next couple of days, there will be some of that. But that there was a, a perspective missing, which was the actual, the, the subjectivity of the performer themselves in interaction with those, those critical questions, those critical framings. So we wanted to take that on. To do so is, of course, a massive, it's a massive topic. And there are many different understandings of what we mean by subjectivity, of how it connects to questions of identity, to creative agency, do we mean the same thing? Even notions of the subject or the selfhood itself are different in different fields. You know, are we talking, of, is subjectivity the same as selfhood or not? It is in some fields of study, in others it's not. Um, is it the same as personality or not? So it's a, it's a big topic. Um, but I think we have some starting points in our cluster. Um, in particular, we wanted to explore what we feel is the basis of subjectivity, is that it, it's something that's produced, that it's active. It's, we're always producing it by performing as musicians. Um, and it's embodied. It's not something that is somehow resident in our heads. It is manifested through um, embodied action. It is distributed and social, socially constituted, and that it's produced through performance, um, but it's, it also feeds into performance in some way. And so we're interested in unpicking those things in our research cluster. Those are very big questions. So again, we have some broad research questions for our cluster, which are how is subjectivity instantiated and embodied in musical performance? Who is the I that performs? An I in a kind of inverted commas for, um, to be careful what we mean by that. And how is that I embodied in performance? And then these are some of the more particular things we're asking through our projects. So, and these also, I think, were pretty much the questions we put to out as a call you know, for people to, to respond to. So those of you who are presenting over the next two days in some way are responding to these questions. We asked what aspects of subjectivity contribute to the formulation of expressive strategies in musical performance? How do the dynamic relationships between performer, materials and context constitute the production of subjectivity? How is subjectivity manifested in processes of collaboration? It's a very important one, I think when a performer is closely involved in the initial stages of creative production? And how do these things relate to issues of creativity, agency and identity? So we, in our cluster, we have four projects ongoing. We can't possibly hope to answer those big questions, 
We hope to find ways in to shed light in some ways on aspects of these. I'm not going to explain any of these in detail, but the, these three projects were started off um, in the cluster. Stefan Hostesio and David Gorton's project, you will hear more about in, in the next session, in, almost immediately after I've spoken. Uh, my project, you won't hear much about, but I will be performing a piece that closely relates to it this evening. Um, and Bill Brooks, Stefan and Jez Wells also have an ongoing project. We have, I call this an additional linked project, simply because a lot of the artistic work had taken place before, or at least some of it had taken place before we formed the cluster. Um, but Stefan and Twee's work, which you will hear about in a presentation tomorrow, but is also the, the um, installation version, is what you can see in the basement, um, is very particularly dealing with questions of subjectivity, identity and gender construction. And so they're also very much part of our project now, part of our cluster now. So that's the kind of background to why we're here. And what we wanted to do was to open out, partly to open out what we're doing, open out the questions we're asking, invite external perspectives, see who else is dealing with this and in what ways. So thank you very much for your interest.